Good morning, Calvary. It's Pastor Chad here with your word for the day, and we're wrapping up our study through Proverbs. So I was assigned with chapters 30 and 31 because it's kind of our, our end of the series, and I, I picked two verses out of chapter 31 I wanted to share with you. Probably not the ones you expect if you're familiar with Proverbs. Uh, verses 8 and 9 of chapter 31 says this, Open your mouth for the mute, for the rights of all who are destitute. Open your mouth, judge righteously, defend the rights of the poor and needy. Uh, the writer of Proverbs is telling us to be people of justice, to be people who promote justice, to be people who fight for justice, who defend the powerless and the weak and the silent. And, and that's something that may touch a nerve today, so let me talk about it just a little bit. God is all about justice because God in his character is just. He's right, he's pure, he's holy, and he's just. He's the one who is the rightful judge of, of everyone. And so he's always for justice. And that means God's people should always be for justice. And as Jesus followers, uh, we recognize a standard of right and wrong, of good and evil. And that standard is found in scripture. What God has revealed to us through his word. And so we don't get to pick and choose what is just and unjust. We let God do that for us. Now, we are obligated to always promote justice, whether we like it or not. And, and the danger in this, and not the danger in justice at all, but the danger in this is that society disconnects from God, and therefore they disconnect from biblical definition of justice, and then they begin to warp justice to what they want it to be. Now, understand that, that we are a nation of laws, and as a nation of laws, justice is supposed to be applied to everyone, and justice is supposed to be blind. It's supposed to be blind to whether you're rich or poor, black or white, whether you are a person of faith or an atheist. It's supposed to be blind to your occupation, to your position or reputation. It's supposed to be blind in that the laws are presented to everyone, and everyone is treated equally under law. It's not about equal results of your choices. It's about equal treatment under the law. In a, in a sense, justice is always making sure that we reap what we sow and don't get away with stuff. Now, let me just share with you my opinion for a minute. This is not what God says, but uh, having traveled the world extensively, having seen a lot of other nations and how they do justice up close, uh, I think the United States of America is pretty darn good. And I will take our justice system over any other system in this world that I have encountered or seen or experienced or read about. Okay, that, that's just my opinion. Uh, and, and I know that America has lots of flaws and our justice system is not perfect. Uh, it is slanted in favor of the rich and the connected. Okay, there is no doubt about that. But it's still uh, the best system that I've seen in this world. And so uh, I'm kind of going to choose it if I have to face justice over any other. Now, not going to rant a whole lot more about the justice injustice except this. I know there's a lot of you watching this who are upset about injustice. I, I, and, and you can pick the injustice you're upset about. It might be the racial injustice that a lot of people are, are protesting. It might be the injustice that uh, rioters and looters uh, are getting away with stuff. It might be the injustice of the unborn being destroyed without ever having a voice. There's all kinds of injustice in this world. It might be the injustice, if you will, that all of us were born in America and we have a, a much better life just because we were born here. We didn't choose that than people in the other parts of the world that don't have the, the luxury that we have. Whatever injustice you are upset about, can I just encourage you with two thoughts? Uh, first of all, everyone faces justice. Nobody gets away with it. You may be really upset right now because people are getting away with it. Nobody gets away with it. Do, do you know what Hebrews says? Chapter 9, it says, uh, For it is appointed unto everyone once to die, and then judgment. Judgment. You are going to face judgment. The Apostle Paul says, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Each one must give an account for their lives and be recompensed, paid back for what they have done in the flesh, whether good or evil. In other words, nobody's getting away with anything. We're all going to give an account. Some men's sins precede them to judgment and others follow after, but everybody is going to be held account by God. 
Okay? That is a certainty. You can count on that. Second thing I want you to think about is this. We really don't want justice. We want grace. Can I, can I just be honest with you? For myself, I don't want justice. I, I, I don't want anything that I deserve because what I deserve is hell. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I don't want justice. I don't want justice for me. I don't want justice for you. I don't want justice for anybody because I want everybody to know the grace of God. I want everybody to know forgiveness of sins. I want everyone to know this wonderful gift that God has given us in Jesus. Because if, if we want justice, then we're all going to hell. Because we all deserve death. Because we've all rebelled against God. So let's be people who promote justice and live grace. Let's give people the second chance. Let's overlook the faults. Let's overlook the slights. Let's overlook the offenses. I know that's not really in vogue with today's culture, but let's choose to do that as people of grace. Let's model what forgiveness and grace look like so that we can be those people who represent Jesus in a world that is dying to know him. And while people protest for justice and cry out for justice, let's be those who remind them of the grace that is available through Jesus Christ our Lord. God bless Calvary. Have a great, great day.